Welcome to Nursat Satellite Channel in Telenmir TV. Let's begin with the headlines. Pope Francis in pain. What is the relationship between children, families, and the increasing wars? His Majesty the King, the international community must reject freezing Israel's activities with UNRWA. In celebration of its inauguration, Cardinal Pizzapella visits St. Joseph's Church in the town of Rimi. UN agency heads the situation in northern Gaza is catastrophic. From the headlines to the details. His Holiness Pope Francis renewed this call for peace in the world, saying, Let us pray for peace, for war is growing and escalating. Let us think of the countries that are suffering greatly from wars, such as Ukraine, Palestine, Gaza, Lebanon, and many other countries still enduring war. He reiterated that war is always a defeat, explaining that in war no one wins, everyone loses. Let us pray for peace, he urged. The Holy Father also mentioned witnessing 150 innocent people shot at with machine guns. And he concluded by asking what is the connection between children and families with war. They are the first victims. Let us pray for peace. His Majesty King Abdullah II affirmed that the international community must reject Israel's escalating actions related to the prevention of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for the Palestinian refugees in the Near East, UNRWA activities. His Majesty emphasized the necessity of increasing humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip, ensuring its delivery and distribution by all possible means to alleviate the humanitarian disaster. King Abdullah also warned of the dangerous developments in the region, which could lead to a full-scale war. He reiterated the need to end the Israeli war on Gaza and Lebanon, which is a fundamental requirement to prevent the expansion of the conflict in the region. He also renewed his call for effective efforts to create a political horizon to achieve a just and comprehensive peace based on the two-state solution. The parish of Frena celebrated a festive mass led by His Eminence Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, with the participation of Bishop Rafiq Nahra, Patriarchal Vicar in Galilee, Father Ibrahim Shomali, the parish priest, along with several priests, nuns, and a congregation of faithful. The celebration marked the 60th anniversary of the inauguration of the new church. The event was distinguished by the participation of the St. Joseph Scout group from Rena, who filled the streets of the town with the rhymes of beautiful music. Upon His Eminence's arrival at the hall, welcoming words were delivered by Father Ibrahim Shomali and the head of the town council, both expressing their gratitude for the arrival of the cardinal and his accompanying delegation. In his homily, His Eminence expressed his gratitude for being with the parishioners, mentioning future projects that will be implemented in response to the needs of the parish. He also emphasized the great importance of the unity of God's love and the love for others, stating that true perfection is achieved only by turning towards the poor and helping them. Pope Francis received a delegation from the Abrahamic Family House led by Muhammad Khalif al-Mubarak, the chairman of the Abrahamic Family House. The visit of the delegation underscores the importance of continuing joint efforts to promote a culture of brotherhood, dialogue, and mutual understanding, especially in times of crisis. During a private meeting with the Pope at the Vatican, the delegation presented an overview of the St. Francis Church, which is part of the Abrahamic Family House in Abu Dhabi. Muhammad Khalif al-Mubarak stated that this house embodies the core principles of the United Arab Emirates, which are respect for others, understanding, religious diversity, and harmony. The Abrahamic Family House in Abu Dhabi includes three places of worship, the Imam Ahmad al-Tayyib Mosque, St. Francis Church, and the Moses bin Maimoun Synagogue, in addition to providing shared space for learning and dialogue. His Eminence, Bishop Christophorus, Archbishop of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox Church, presided over the Divine Liturgy held at the Annunciation Cathedral in Abdali. At the end of the service, His Eminence announced the decisions of the Holy Synod, under which Archmandrite Raphael Gravis and economist Saman Khouri were entrusted with their pastoral duties at the Annunciation Cathedral in Abdali. He wished them success in their pastoral work in collaboration with economist Arinus Mdanat, in his homily, His Eminence emphasized that the goal of these decisions is to serve the Church of Christ with joy, humility, and obedience. Assisting him in the service were several priests and deacons, with a congregation of faithful present. In an atmosphere filled with brotherhood and love, Archmandrite Paul Nuzha, the Patriarchal Administrator for the Greek Malkite Catholics in Jordan, received Mr. Mundir Naimat, the Secretary General of the Bible Society, along with the accompanying delegation. The purpose of the visit was to congratulate His Eminence on his appointment as the Patriarchal Administrator of the Melkite Catholic Diocese. 
During the meeting, which was attended by Father Josh Sharaiha, Father Moody Hindele, Mr. Amir Abis, and Ms. Rula Bawab, words of love and appreciation were exchanged. Both sides emphasized the distinguished relationship between the Bible Society and the pastoral activities, stressing the importance of continuing joint cooperation between religious institutions to enhance the shared mission of serving the Word and building bridges of communication among the various segments of society. At the conclusion of the meeting, the visiting team expressed their best wishes to Archman Dryat Nuzha for success in his new pastoral mission and prayed to God to grant him strength and wisdom. The Family Pastoral Center, affiliated with the Latin Patriarchate in Bejala, organized the course in collaboration with the Anwar Association for Empowerment and Psychosocial Support. The purpose of this course was to prepare a group of committed families to assist the parish priest in addressing the problems and challenges faced by parish families. The course was attended by parishes from Bejala, Bethlehem, and Jerusalem, with the participants committing to all activities and exercises that equipped them with all the skills to handle various situations. The session stood out for the involvement of both husbands and wives in exercises, which covered numerous topics related to psychosocial support provided by the Anwar Association. In addition to the sessions presented by the Center, participants also learned new methods and approaches in reading and reflecting on certain biblical texts. Heads of UN humanitarian agencies warned that the situation in northern Gaza is horrific, with all its residents facing the imminent risk of death due to disease, starvation and violence. They explained that the area has been under siege for a month and is deprived of essential aid and life-saving supplies. They pointed out that in the past few days, hundreds of Palestinians have been killed, most of them women and children, and thousands have been forcefully displaced. They urge all fighting parties in Gaza to protect civilians and called on Israel to stop its acts on the region, as well as on humanitarian workers who are trying to provide assistance to those trapped. Amidst pain and hope, the Arab-Palestinian hospital in Gaza, known as the Baptist Hospital, won the Achievement Award for this year from the Yasser Arafat Foundation in Ramallah. The award was received on behalf of the hospital's management and staff by Archbishop Hussam Naoum, accompanied by several priests and institutions directors from Palestine. Archbishop Naoum also signed a cooperation agreement between the hospital and the United Nations Development Program at the St. George Cathedral in Jerusalem. The Baptist Hospital stands as a testament to the sacrifices and determinations of the doctors and nurses who work under extremely difficult conditions. They face severe shortages of medicine and medical equipment, but continue to fulfill their duties despite the risks that threaten their lives and the lives of their families. In light of the upcoming Christmas celebrations and the humanitarian conditions faced by our brothers and sisters in the Gaza Strip, the Good Shepherd Association in Bethlehem has launched its annual donation campaign under the title Light a Candle for Peace. The association states that it has been a tradition to launch this campaign annually at this time to remind donors of the importance of giving and helping those in need in the Holy Land. However, this year, due to the difficult circumstances faced by the Palestinian people, especially in Gaza, the scope of the donation campaign has been expanded to include five different programs, medical aid, charity parcels, food meals, small projects, and the Family to Family program. The Ministry of Agriculture expects olive production this year to reach 175,000 tons, with nearly 30,000 tons of olive oil classified among the best in the world. The number of fruitful olive trees in the kingdom is estimated at around 50 million across various varieties. There are currently 146 olive presses spread throughout Jordan. Additionally, exhibitions are being held in both Jordan and Palestine to market olive production. Under the motto, Mary, Queen of Peace, the Church of St. Thomas the Apostle in Baghdad organized the Marian Hymns evening to mark the conclusion of the Holy Rosary Month. The event was led by Sister Narjas Tuma from the Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, with the presence of Bishop Basilius Yeldo, the Patriarchal Vicar, along with priests, nuns, and a large congregation of faithful. At the beginning of the evening, a prayer for peace was offered, followed by Sister Narjas performing spiritual hymns from both the Chaldean and Latin rites. Interspread with Marian reflections. At the conclusion, Bishop Yeldo thanked those who organized the event and expressed his gratitude to Sister Narjas for her thoughtful selection of hymns, especially those focused on peace, which is something we are in urgent need of. With the blessing of Father Christophorus Haddad, the spiritual leader of the town of Al-Fahis, and under the patronage of the governor of 
Mahis and Fahis, the mayor, and in the presence of priests, the Orthodox schools in Al Fahis celebrated City Day in collaboration with the House of Heritage and Arts Association in Al Fahis. The event featured various segments presented by the school students, including a fashion show showcasing outfits from different cities organized by the House of Heritage in Salt. During the celebration, Mr. Jamil Madain spoke about the relationship between Al Fahis and other Arab cities. At the conclusion of the event, the students' parents presented traditional dishes that reflected the authenticity of Jordanian cities. And with that, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our broadcast. Before we conclude, here's a reminder of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis in pain. What is the relationship between children, families, and the increasing wars? His Majesty the King, the international community must reject freezing Israel's activities with UNRWA. In celebration of its inauguration, Cardinal Pizzapella visits St. Joseph's Church in the town of Amy. UN agency heads, the situation in northern Gaza is catastrophic. For more details, please visit our website, nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, hope you had a pleasant time.